Alright, baby. Let's ride. Damn, look at those clouds in the distance. I don't like the look of them. This morning, I took my Z250 SL to work. I should have taken my usual commuter, my RS150. If I do run into rain, I'm more confident in riding in the rain on my smaller bike. I'm just more used to using her in the rain than my other bikes. Not that I'm a stranger when it comes to riding in the rain on my D250 SL, just that I'm more used to riding in the rain with my RS150. Fortunately, I got lucky this morning. I was able to make it to the office without it raining, without the weather going down on me. It's gonna be... The next few days gonna be stupid rain, stupid weather. There's a storm coming in. I don't know the international name, but here it's been named Tropical Storm Ompong. And it, it's about to enter the country's area of responsibility sometime this evening. The weather stations of other countries, I think the U.S., have already categorized the storm as a super typhoon, so it's gonna be one heck of a storm that's gonna be battering the country in the next few days. But ASA still has not categorized it as a super typhoon. I suppose they use a different standard or different measuring different measuring procedures so according to them it's not yet a tropical a super typhoon quite close but not yet not quite a super typhoon yet I reckon they'll be changing the category of tropical storm on Pong the next few days Ompong has a speed of around 20 kph. I don't know if that's fast as storms go, but 20 kph is not that fast really. So, it's gonna be slow going as it traverses the country. So the Philippines will be battered by the storm in the next few days. Four days, I think. Five days at most. So it's going to be tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. And then, more than likely, Sunday as well. That's gonna be stupid weather the next few days. Hi, stupid weather. If I haven't, if you hadn't realized yet, if I, if you recall, riding in the wet is just one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm on my motorcycle. I just don't like riding in the wet. Some people like it, some people are okay with it, me, it just stresses me to no end. It's just... I just don't like it. It's, it's it's unsafe, man. I suppose one 
would say that if it rains, I should just take shelter and wait it out. But sometimes you just don't have the luxury of that. You just have to push on through and green and bear it and hope for the best. And I don't like that. Not one bit. There's a big chance they're going to be suspending work the next few days, if not tomorrow, then on Friday, on account of the weather. Not that I'm hoping that they would, but there's a big chance that they would do that. So... There's a chance that I don't have to go out riding in the rain. There's that chance at least. I must say, traffic so far not so bad, so at least there's also that, despite my worry of running into rain as I go to work, I still had a nice time, relatively speaking, on my ride to work this morning. Riding in such light traffic on my V250 SL, such a pleasure, man. Such a pleasure. It just gives me this wonderful feeling deep inside. I suppose I should try it also outside the city. One of these days, I probably go riding outside the city. But as I had mentioned before, I'm more of an urban rider. I'm riding outside the city, going for a ride outside the city is not really my thing. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a pleasurable ride, pleasurable experience doing that. But it's not really my thing. When it comes to long rides out of the city, I'd rather sit at the back of a car or sit at the back of the bus and just sit back and relax, enjoy the view and all that. It's much more relaxing. I find, at least I find it much more relaxing. Some, some don't, some riders don't like that, but me, I'm quite fine with just riding at the back of a car whenever we go outside the city. Like I said, I'm more of an urban rider. I enjoy riding around the city. Traffic notwithstanding. The only thing that really gets me down is the weather. I really hate riding in the rain. I can't say that enough. <laughs> Anyways, light traffic is great. The Z250 SL that I'm using right now is a great bike, a single cylinder, 250cc, so it's a thumper. I think that's a term they call for single, for relatively big displacement single cylinder motorcycles. It's a thumper. It's a great bike. The one I have is black with 
red trail is free the Z250SL is also available in green at least the last time I checked I think it's no longer available I think the one that's available this year is gray with black trellis frame or maybe it's the other way around it's black with gray trellis frame I forget but when I bought this bike there were two colors available the black with red trellis frame and the green one with the black trellis frame I have a feeling though that Kawasaki will soon discontinue this bike. I mean, they already have the Z300. It's a two-cylinder parallel twin motorcycle. But hopefully I'm wrong in this one and they'll still continue producing this bike. But it's a great bike actually. Well, at least I like it. For me, it has more personality than the Z250 that it replaced. It replaced the Z250 and they came up with the Z300. Although, I think they the Z300 is no longer available here, at least the last time I checked, Kawasaki Leisure Bikes Makati does not have one on display, the one that they have on display is the Z250SL. I'm a, of course, I might be remembering it wrong, but that's how I remember it at this moment. And here we are again, Ross Boulevard approaching the intersection of Buendia. And much to my surprise, the intersection is closed. It wasn't closed yesterday, but it's closed today. And in the afternoon when I was going home, it was still closed, so something must be up. They must have changed, MMDA must have changed policies again with regards to this intersection. They keep changing it for some reason, quite confusing. Well, no, no biggie. Traffic is light and I was able to get back to my usual route to the office in no time. Just a short trip to the U-turn slot and then back to my normal route. Back to the service road alongside Ross Boulevard yeah for some reason traffic is really light this morning don't know why not, not that I'm complaining but I'm just surprised I'm just really surprised pleasant surprise and all that <laughs> Well, that's it for now. Until next time then, keep on riding on, baby!